say that, you know, you should try Z equal Natura if they can. Um, and I think it, it's uh, something, it, it's a supplement, right? It's, uh, it's an easy supplement. Like uh, the doctor said that it's, it's naturally occurring in your body. Yes. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's great. I'm looking forward to using it myself. All right, Dr. Vijay, what makes Zequil natural? Something that I read um, was also that you guys have uh, vitamin D in it that makes you wake up fresher yes. and give you energy, which I think yeah. is so great because everybody's afraid of taking a sleep supplement that might make you drowsy yeah. when you wake yes. up and yeah. you can wake up easier and fresher and brighter. And I love that about Zequil Natura. Yeah. You know, the fact that, you know, you wake up with energy is amazing. Yeah. Yes. No, in fact, uh, that's absolutely right. And uh, probably Dr. Vijay can share a little bit about the science behind it as well. But it is very important that it is not about, it is not just about falling asleep faster, yeah. but it is also about getting that right sleep. When you wake up, you feel refreshed and, you know, all ready to take on yes. the day. Yep, yep. So all looking at me. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so in fact, the design of this product, the formulation oh, actually put a lot of thought behind it, right? So we know that Tiredness and fatigue is one of the very direct outcome if you have a yeah. poor sleep, okay? So, in fact, vitamin B um, right, uh, is actually at a recommended dose, right? Uh, meeting your daily recommended uh, um, level, concentration, right? It can actually help the body to relieve tiredness and fatigue, right? So, it yes. actually tie in very well. You have melatonin to help you fall asleep fast and then in addition, right, you have vitamin B, right, to help you to relieve the body's tiredness and fatigue. Yeah. Fantastic. I have another question for you, which I'm pretty sure is on everybody's mind in the room. Yep. Do we need a prescription for uh, Zequil Natura? Yeah, so, um, in fact, Zequil um, Natura is actually uh, a nutraceutical Correct. under India's uh, food safety and standards. Right, like I've mentioned, right, it is actually a uh, substance to supplement the body's uh, level of melatonin. Now, the indication is not to treat, diagnose, or prevent any disease. So yeah. therefore, mm -hmm. it is not a drug, right? It's a nutraceutical. So, um, yeah, right, it can be used to help you to, to fall asleep. And in situation whereby you need to manage your occasional sleeplessness, right, you can use the product without prescription. Fantastic, Dr. Vaiji. Sahil, coming to you, there are multiple sleeping aids available across the yeah. world. Can you tell all of us how is Zequil Natura different from it? Sure. So, um, in PNG, I mean, of course, we are known for across the globe for innovative products. Yes. And uh, Zequil Natura has been world's number one sleep aid brand uh, wherever we have uh, launched it, and uh, it has done really well. Um, as we were sharing earlier, um, the product is different in a way that it doesn't just have melatonin, but it also has melatonin and vitamin B6. Yes. So, and it is non-addictive and no next day drowsiness. So these are the really benefits that consumers look for when it comes to uh, sleep supplement. And more importantly, it is designed for or formulated for Indian consumers. Right. So it also has, you know, ingredients like lavender, chamomile, yeah. which, is, which are very popular ingredients here locally, right. which people use it for soothing and calming, uh, you know, uh, benefits. I thought it was new agey. As <laughs> <laughs> Having chamomile tea and lavender oil on me. Exactly. So, so that's why it is very much designed or formulated for Indian consumers. Right. Uh, and that is how it is, uh, you know, different... Uh, uh, product as well. And can you tell us who is the target audience for this category? Yeah, so I mean, when it, <laughs> when it comes to target audience, yes, I think all of us here, uh, because most of us uh, do experience uh, occasional sleeplessness. And I was, as I was sharing earlier, adults 25 to 55, uh, people with, you know, high stress jobs, uh, and we are the ones who are actually experiencing occasional sleeplessness. Yes. And at the same time, we are the ones who are probably not aware about the situation as well. Correct. So definitely that's the target consumer for us. Okay, and finally, I'm very curious to know how has Equal Natura done in other markets? So it has done really well uh, and consumers have accepted it really well wherever it has been launched. Uh, so as I was saying, it is world's number one sleep aid brand. And uh, it has done very well in the markets like uh, US, in Europe, 
And uh, Closer Home in Asia, it has been launched in uh, Philippines earlier and it has done really well there as well. Fantastic. Okay, so now we're going to move this conversation to the other side of the stage. Uh, I think this would be a fitting point for me to throw the floor open to questions. I'm very sure that our guests seated here on stage will be very, very happy to answer questions pertaining to uh, Zequel Natura. So in case you have any questions, my dear friends, all my guests, please raise your hand. We'll make sure the mic reaches you. And of course, uh, I'm going to request you to please identify yourself before you ask your question. All right, question. We have a gentleman here to the right-hand side. Keep your hands raised so that we can get the mic to you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Doctor, I would like to ask a very important question. In case if it is taken in quantity, you never know. I mean, you cannot say that only one, but it goes in hands of somebody who is disparate for sleep and takes it in quantity. What will happen? So if I understood the question correctly, is that um, in terms of like accidental uh, ingestion of the product? Who, yes. I mean, this will be available, as you said, uh, there is no yes. need of uh, prescription. It will mm. be available easily. It goes to any disparate hands. I mean, they take it in quantity. What will, what will happen? Oh, I see. Yes. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Multiple gummies. Yeah, so, um, so the product is really intended for a nutraceutical, right? And uh, Vicks ZQ Natural do not, you know, condole or any, you know, um, um, irresponsible use, right? So we always, you know, like Sahil has said, right? We also need to create awareness and a series of events, right? To uh, sort of like get people to know how to use it, you know, responsibility, right? So the dosage instructions and um, indication, right, etc., is, you know, uh, really printed and then on, on pack, and then in fact, right, um, oral supplementation of melatonin, right, uh, because it's an oral supplementation, there is no studies, right, to show any, you know, uh, dependency or tolerance, you know, uh, effect um, to the product. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, Sah Sahil, uh, yes. you are at the back. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Russell De Silva from PTI. Uh, what I wanted to ask you is how, uh, how friendly it is for the very common user base in India, how cost effective it is, and what would you all be doing in order to uh, make it ex very accessible to the common people out there? Yeah, so at PNG, again, uh, we always look at uh, the superior consumer value uh, through our uh, irresistibly superior products that we innovate uh, for meeting the consumer unmet needs. And uh, this is no different for, uh, for Zequel Natura. Uh, I mean, in terms of the pricing, I can share uh, the maximum retail price which is suggested for uh, this product is there are two different packs available. Uh, there is one available with 10 gummies, which is at uh, 199 rupees. And uh, there is a bigger one, which is uh, 24 gummies at 449, 449 rupees. Of course, the pricing is at the sole discretion of the retailer. Uh, but this is the maximum retail price, which we believe uh, from the benefit point of view, it does drive that you know, superior consumer value because of the very superior product that we have created with uh, Zequel Natural. Uh, also, uh, you said that no prescription is required at all, but uh, are there at any side effects at all? Because I have tried probably the opposite of this, which are caffeine pills, sometimes to stay awake. And the next day, your body does feel, you know, just a slightly weird. It's not that it's a big side effect, but slightly weird. Do, uh, would this also bring on any kind of side effects? Yeah, I would I refer can, it to yeah, maybe Dr. I can, yeah, maybe I can take this question. So, um, as I mentioned, the melatonin gummy um, um, Zico have been sold many years over many markets, and we have very good surveillance um, monitoring. So there isn't any, you know, uh, side effects uh, or pertaining, you know, major side effects reported. Now, the only thing that I want to say is that melatonin obviously will make you sleepy, right? So in the case whereby if you take melatonin and you do not go to sleep, right, there are some, you know, mild effects that saying people are like having headaches and, and drowsiness, right? But that can be gone, right, if you go to sleep after taking uh, melatonin. Uh, gummies. So, yeah, that's, that's uh, what we have actually gathered so far. Um, yeah. And uh, finally, uh, Son <laughs> Sonam 
First of all, it's lovely to see you after quite some time. Oh, thank you so much. It's so nice to be here. Uh, look, looking uh, uh, killer, the fashion diva as oh always. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. That's uh, so sweet. I have you, uh, I mean, considering your schedules, probably it's the most erratic schedules, we in the media and you all in the industry. Yes, 100%. Our schedules are too erratic. We, we, don't, we don't have a schedule. We, we don't could, have a schedule. Yes. And especially if you're a mom and you're working. Fortunately, I wasn't in the first two, three months, even though I've started, I've started work now, but I wasn't in the initially the first two, three months. But yes, my, since I was 17, my schedule has been erratic. <laughs> so... Uh, you're, if suppose you want to probably take a power nap in between, yes. uh, in between sh shoots, like yes. a two-hour power nap in your trailer van, would you uh, go for this? Well, I'll have to ask Dr. YJ if it's okay for me to take it, because I haven't, I've always taken melatonin in the night before sleeping. During the day, is it all right for me to take and to sleep for two hours? Yeah, so it's not recommended, right, if you take short naps, right? So melatonin, um, once you take melatonin, like I've mentioned, the body will actually clear it naturally. Okay. And it's, it's actually intended for you to have a optimal sleep, quality yes. sleep. And then the definition for quality sleep is, you know, about seven hours. So the recommendation to you is that take it at night, follow the natural, you know, melatonin cycle. And yeah. allow, you know, six to seven if hours sleep. Whatever little yeah. bit I know, I don't know very much. As a supplement, uh, melatonin is only produced, if I'm not mistaken, in the night in your body, right? Yes. Not yes. during the day. Yes. Yeah, it increases in the night. Yeah. So if I take it in the day, I will ruin my circadian rhythm. Mm. Unless I have to switch my day and night if I'm shooting. Mm. Like if I'm shooting in the night and I need to sleep in the day, it's I black out my room and then I take a melatonin so I can switch my circadian rhythm. That's the only way I will take it. I mean, this is just me practically thinking about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Absolutely. All right. Do we have any more questions? Yes. Lady here. Yes. Can we have a mic, please? Yes, ma'am. Uh, hi. This is Sana from Indian Express. Sonam, as uh, Russell mentioned, you're actually looking very lovely today. Oh, my God. That's so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me uh, any weird or funny incident that you remember where the lack of sleep has caused a drama in your life. <laughs> I think a lot of the times when in front of you guys <laughs> in the press, <laughs> I've said all the wrong things. <laughs> um, out of, you know, especially when you're younger, right? You feel like you can work all night and then you can work all day and then you end up doing things and saying things that, you know, because you're tired, your brain isn't functioning right. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what, you know, so yeah, I've said all the wrong things <laughs> and I've gotten into a lot of trouble. And, um, you know, so yeah, I have. I'm, I'm sure you will go back and you'll remember some <laughs> things that I've said. Uh, but yeah, so much. And, you know, I'm, I'm clumsy. Um, uh, very clumsy and I remember I was shooting um, nights uh, for um, uh, Prem Ratan Dhan Payo and I had to wear this like lovely sari and you know and usually I'm like very particular I like to tie my own sari like I'm very like particular about how I wear it and I had not and I had to and fortunately I had a slip and everything and I tied it correctly it was a I was a disaster because I for some reason could not like tie my sari correctly in the night. It just it was just not happening, you know. And it was like that French chiffon which is constantly slipping from your hands. So yeah, that's the only time I remember where I was fun, uh, like like going mad because of the night shoot. Yeah. Uh, and Dr. Wong, I wanted to ask you, uh, even Sahil, if you can pitch in. You both have been mentioning how it's for occasional sleeplessness. Could you elaborate on that for someone who's having it, like maybe regularly not getting enough sleep? Does that work for them too? Yeah, so I think maybe just to explain a bit, right, you know, uh, some of the common things that we face, right, and uh, how, you know, it leads to occasional sleeplessness, right? So I think as a body physiology, right, like, uh, um, so now your kid, baby is like sleeping how many hours a, a day? Okay, so 15 hours yeah, in total was, was, uh, is a recommended. Yeah. I just feel like he doesn't sleep, yeah. but he's sleeping 15 hours, like okay. uh, six hours, three hours, two hours, like that. But okay. totality, he sleeps 15 hours a day. Yeah, correct. So, so sleep, in fact, is actually very important for growth. That's why babies sleep yeah. a, lot, a lot, right? Now, yes. in a human physiology, the peak of melatonin production in baby is the highest. 
and gradually will decrease. Actually, by the age after 30s, right, mm. uh, our melatonin level actually drops almost by half when we were a child. So as we age, melatonin level gets lesser and lesser, our ability to secrete, right? So that's why the prevalence of sleeping issue, you know, uh, is small, right, in, in elderly. Now, aging is one thing, right? Another thing is that um, our, our things like, you know, blue light devices, right? Yes. One interesting fact, just two hours of use of handphone, right, uh, at night, right, the, the light, right, will inhibit your melatonin production by 40%. So you think that you are relaxing, doing social media, etc., to make you sleepy. In fact, you actually reduce the level of melatonin, right? So, so, so these are things, yeah. right, that you know impact us and you know indirectly for for occasional sleeplessness. So back to your question, right? Um, the use of melatonin, right, in in our daily lifestyle as we age, right, the role is really supplement or replenish your body's uh, level of melatonin, right? So that's the use. Now, also, I also want to highlight the fact that, you know, if you have sleeping issue, prolonged sleeping issue, let's say for three months, four months, even taking, you know, melatonin doesn't help, you may really need to go and consult a doctor. There may be a, an underlying medical condition that you need to find out. Yeah. Thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Thank you so much, doctor. Yes, ma'am. Is it recommended for women also? Sorry? Uh, pregnant women. Oh, yeah. So, for pregnant women, nursing women, and... and Getting pregnant women, right? Um, it is advised to talk to your doctor, right, uh, before taking uh, melatonin or, or supplement because I think that's the, also the advice from doctors, right? Before you take any supplement during pregnancy or nursing, right, work together with your doctor to see whether that's like suitable. vitamin A is yeah. recommended. You you can't take vitamin A during your pregnancy at all. Like if you if vitamin A actually causes your babies to be, you know, it, it affects the baby badly. Um, saying that, um, I, I think it's better to speak to your doctor yeah. um, on whether you can have any supplement. Um, you know, like my doctor told me I can't have chamomile tea while I was pregnant. So, which is like something basic, you know. So you should you should speak to your doctor before taking anything when you're pregnant. Sai, uh, did you take a, a, a approval from uh, FDA in India uh, separately or just US FDA approval is enough? So the product is uh, registered as, as part of uh, FSSI in India, and we have uh, gotten the license uh, for that, of course. Uh, and in the US, of course, we follow the US regulatory. But given that this product is designed and formulated for India, we did have uh, the approvals in, in India as well. But from FSSI, not yes, FDA? Yes, FSSI. Yeah, FSSI. All right, yes, sir. Let's take the next question from Hi. you, the oh. gentleman there at the back. Excuse me. Okay, meanwhile, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to ask you to hold on. Please go ahead. Yes. So my question is for Sahil. Uh, Netflix CEO recently just uh, claimed that sleep is the biggest competitor. What would you want to respond on that? I mean, what do you think about sleep being well, the biggest competitor? I'm here to comment about Zekul Natura today, so I wouldn't comment on that. But what I would say is definitely, you know, uh, one thing consumers or Indians are doing, actually not only Indians, I think it is the thing that is happening across the globe, um, which is people are taking longer time to sleep. Yeah. And what they're doing during that time is really consuming content, right? It is all sort of content. I was sharing the data earlier, at least, uh, you know, from our survey, it clearly shows that uh, people are using social media. And I was telling, I, I'm definitely one of them, unfortunately. I mean, I would love to follow the routine that Sonam follows, where my phone is outside, but unfortunately, it's a Last thing that I sleep with, and the moment I wake up again, you know, you start checking your phone. So this is my this is my husband's. Uh, I have to give him credit for it. Yeah. Um, this is something that he has he has implemented in my life. It's a brilliant habit. You know, yeah. and uh, right now it's like after four months, I've start my baby started sleeping in the other room before. Yeah. You know, so you, uh, now the phone is next to me because you know you have the video camera on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. On the on the baby, so <laughs> now yeah. it is near me, yeah. but it is it's actually blue light is if I'm not mistaken, uh, doctor, it is it it mimics sunlight, right? If I'm yeah. not mistaken. So the blue light. Right? It does. Yes, yeah. and yeah. and that's uh, what decreases melatonin. Yeah. Production. Yeah. 
So maybe I just want to add to the point, right? Personally, I think uh, watching movies, uh, social media, is a form of relaxation. I think all of us can agree, right, to our mind, right? Relaxation for our mind and rest for our mind. But I think for me, equally, right, relaxation and rest for the body is equally important, right? So I would say that, you know, the product, right, sort of like when you need, right, it helps you to cover that very important aspect of life, right? Your body wellness, right? Enough sleep, enough rest. Yeah, I hope that answers your question. Okay, you know, I think we have many, many interesting questions that are coming up, but we can definitely, uh, you know, close this formal conversation here because the rest of the evening is available for conversations. Our spokespersons are going to be around. But uh, I think on that note, can we have a huge round of applause for sleep? For <laughs> sleep, everybody. Yes, and for Zequel Natural, and thank you. Thank you so much for thank having you. this conversation. And uh, I would say a very honest one that, that really makes a huge difference. And I personally, I would definitely say, uh, you know, I was being guilty, not guilty in my head throughout the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, I've learned so much uh, about sleep today. All right, thank then. You. Why not we all arise? I'm going to request the Zequel Natura team to please join us here on stage quickly for a photo opportunity. All right, everybody, give us your best smiles. This camera? Yeah. Show them this camera. Uh, So on behalf of all of us, thank you so much for joining us. It was an absolute pleasure to have you here. Dr. Wong and Sahil, thank you so much as well. Have a great evening. And to all of our guests, our friends from the media, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon.